All right, good Tuesday morning, everyone. We are back on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, welcome back. Thank you so much. How was your time off? It was fabulous. I uh, went out to Sonoma, visited a friend, uh, went to some, had the actual wine tour of where they open the barrels and use the baster uh, and uh, bike rides galore. I think that, look, I think that Sonoma, I mean, I could write a book about Sonoma. I like it more than Napa. Uh, and then, of course, went to the to beach and did a massive canning job because the season was later. Uh, did a lot of sauce yesterday, a lot of sauce on Friday. Uh, but I heavily recommend, and you can follow me on, uh, if you go to Twitter, that a California trip is a nice respite for anybody. Mm. If you had to, to rate this season's garden compared to other years, what, what would you give Disappointing. it? Disappointing. Really? Yeah, we'll be going, I'll have to go out again this weekend because it's so late. But what happened is I went to the Tarpon Rodeo. I missed that. I went to a wedding. And then I went to another wedding. There were key weekends that I didn't get to prune and that I didn't get to string up. And remember, the tomatoes fall. They're heavier than the, they're heavier than mine. You can't bear them. So uh, it was mediocre, um, but I blame the weather. Uh, and, I, and I blame that I had to do something else other than garden, and sometimes the family intrudes. Ah, all right, Jay, yeah, you had a busy summer. All right, Jim, yeah. we are- I, I was on an airplane probably almost every weekend, and I'm tired. My arms are tired. <laughs> But no shortage of topics to talk about today. No. First trading session of September, stocks are down. This is historically a, a rough month for the market. Yeah, I mean, I actually kind of like the market here. I think that Facebook's scaring people. That's that moth that Nathan's in peace. There's really not a lot of negatives other than uh, those who got up this morning early saw that Europe didn't have a lot of impact on us. And then suddenly Europe goes down and we go down. And there's really no fundamental research uh, other than the fact that we, we've been up a lot in the last few days. And, you know, I would say be careful, but, but be picking. I mean, look, Facebook is owned by Action Alerts, and you know, down six on what, on the toxic group piece by Moffitt Nathanson seems excessive to me, excessive decline. Although and we've not been a favorite. We have, we have a very good basis. We sold a lot. Uh, should we have sold more? Well, obviously, let's not kid ourselves. We talked about that in our monthly call. But I do think that down here, you're beginning to reflect a lot of the slowing, and I, I, I just don't think it's a sale down here. I just don't. I don't even think the piece meant for it to be a sale here. And maybe this month will bring some opportunities for people to scoop up some of the cloud kings, which you write about in Real Money yeah, this morning. Yeah, and I've got some, I think, some really good performance numbers there and what happens when you buy these stocks. And I uh, rec recommend, this is my Real Money piece, at the end of the piece I say which one's the best to buy. Uh, and I urge people, Real Money's been doing quite well. We've had a lot of really good ideas. It's a great product. Uh, am I selling Real Money? Yes, because it's, you know, it, it is... I, I get a lot of stuff there, and I uh, tweet a lot of good stuff, and there's just a lot to say. The story of the day, by the way, is Nike, and the, you know, we're covering uh, wall to wall. It, it, it's just massive and balanced coverage. Yeah, that Nike situation is, of course, with that new deal with Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, and now Darren Ravel down. said that, look, it's been a deal for a long time. I've got my views, uh, which is that Foot Locker is saying that there's been weakness with Nike anyway. Uh, I, you know, this is one where you wait a day and you buy. Nike's very good. Uh, to, uh, they need cool, they need exciting, that's what Foot Locker wants. Well, you know what, hate them or like them, it's cool and exciting. I'm not looking for a big boycott. I went read Coach Peterson's book this weekend. He's the coach for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And he does say he told his guys, listen, you got to stand. So then the question is, is uh, obviously, is there some sort of boycott against Kaepernick? Obviously, I think the choice of, of Kaepernick implies that he's still a great athlete and that Nike wants to uh, you know, make a splash here. Um, the, uh, the problem with making a splash is that there could be, if you look at Foot Locker just reported, uh, Foot Locker could have another leg down perhaps, but uh, I, I think it's not going to be long lasting. This is not like uh, going on the other side. Uh, it, it is not like Papa John's, uh, which has had a terrible slide. I think Nike will be fully discounted within a few days. Obviously, you'll have the NFL kickoff, and the ad will be running, and the ad will be running, and the ad will be running, and heavy rotation. Those who hate, uh, there's two sides. And there may be enough people who, who hate the ad, but a lot of people might love the ad. So uh, it's obviously controversial, and therefore it's hot. Hot is cool. And Jim, you'll be broadcasting your show from the season yes, kickoff from, on Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to the Comcast Center, and uh, I've got, I have my friend Brent Seller. We're going to be talking, the, the uh, Brent is the ambassador to the Eagles. He just retired. He's an old friend. Uh, his parents have been in the box. Uh, he's a very good businessman. And what I want to talk about is life after the NFL. And obviously, you know, this is not a show just about the Eagles. That doesn't fly because there's people who are fans of other teams, although I don't understand why. <laughs> okay. Jim, other stocks we're watching this morning, Advanced Micro Devices, Jeffries Lisa maintaining Sue. their buyout. Lisa Sue. She came on uh, Squawk on the Street when the stock was 
barely double, it was just double digits. And she said, look, it's our time. I, I don't know if she counted on the disarray. I believe you can call it an intel, but uh, Eric Johnson, just Google AMD Johnson and you will read everything about why AMD is beating Intel gaming, beating Intel high end PCs, beating Intel data center, that's disputed. But uh, it's been a remarkable turn. Uh, it's still a smaller cap stock. My congratulations to Dr. Lisa Sue. What a magnificent job. Hey Jim, who do you have coming up on Mad Money tonight? I have Clean Harbors tonight. And I think this is important because you know, we're in an era, we've got the Gulf storms right now. We're in an era where uh, if you have a spill, does it, is it as dangerous to the uh, survival of a company as it may have been another? Clean Harbors is obviously at the heart of making everything uh, more palatable. I read a fabulous article in Philadelphia Inquirer about fishing in the Schuylkill River. Who ever thought that could happen? There are great things happening all over the place. Clean Harbors is, Clean Harbors is part of it. Okay, that's tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern on CNBC. Thank you. Jim and I are going to continue talking about stocks. Please join us on our ActionAlertsPlus.com video.